annual Image Entertainment Distinction Awards was held at the magnificently restored King's Theater in Brooklyn. Lucy's Bar and Grill, located inside BB King's Blues Club, hosted the Industry Rules Magazine cover release party honoring celebrity chef Winford Patrick Simpson. Designer Chuck Collins present Fall 2017 Benefit Fashion Show. The official Reggae Gold 2017 album release party was held at the Grave Dolphin Lounge in Queens. New York's top 10 countdown and much, much more. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. The Image Entertainment and Distinction IED Award Show honors and highlights influential celebrities, philanthropists, businessmen and women who proudly serve their communities. The IED Awards celebrated those within the community who have selflessly worked to develop the fashion and entertainment industries, while significantly contributing to the overall well-being and quality of life in the community. I'm truly thankful that God has preserved me, that I can be here giving you 53 years in this business. Host for the evening was Grammy Award winning reggae artist Shaggy and Tara Wallace of VH1's it show Love Listen, and Hip Hop New York. I'm trying to do my step forward program and I can't say I'm like over everything. Special guests included Maxi Priest. Marcia Griffith. Melissa Morgan. And more. The evening commenced on the red carpet, followed by the award ceremony. Yeah, boom blast, you don't know, Ziggy Bless. Yeah, and red carpet style the thing, they're seen at the EID Awards, right here in Brooklyn, New York. I'm, I'm excited, this is my first, very first time um, attending this award show, yeah. so I'm really excited to see everyone. Everyone's looking gorgeous, and yeah, yeah I want to have a good time. Melissa Morgan, that's the name? That's the name! <laughs> nice, nice. So what's bringing you here tonight? Well, I'm being honored and I'm going to perform, so I'm really excited. My first time here, so yeah. I'm very excited, yes. I'm known for my song, Do Me Baby, oh. Fool's Paradise, Love Changes, uh, Body to Body, okay. on and on and on. I have a new CD coming out in 2018, yeah. early 2018, and I'm very excited to be here. I'm standing here right to a veteran of the business, legend of the business, and if you know, Nesta Pine. Big man, what's going on? Yeah, man, greetings, man. Greetings to everyone, you know, just come to, you know, yeah. look on the awards and, you know, spread see. the adulations and spread the music the same way, you know? The red carpet style, you can't see. The thing up right now, you see me, I say? Yeah. And I'm standing right next to Pastor Son, in the place. What's going on, my brother? Yeah, man, you know it's the pastor, son, the man of the Bible, I'm God. My Bible is my rifle, kill demon, them stifle. God be up my house, so him have my house, stifle. Shantalawa! Yeah, man. Shantalawa! <laughs> Yeah, man. man to the thing. So, what occasion tonight? You just a pass through. What, what going on for you tonight? Well, this tonight? Yeah, well, you know, everybody used to me on the stage and jump up and go yeah. like my man. But tonight, just yeah. a relax, relax night for pastor, son. You know what I mean? Come take in um, oh. Shaggy, Marcia yeah. Griffith. You know, a few artists come really, chill, watch some models. Yeah. You know what I mean? Billy, that the name of Jesus, you know? Really yeah, man. man. <laughs>
Celebrating five plus years of existence, Industry Rules Magazine is a voice for every industry with a story. Educating and motivating readers with personal stories of success. Chef Winford Patrick Simpson was their culinary industry cover story this month. Industry Rules Magazine celebrated the announcement of its latest cover star, celebrity chef Winford P. Simpson of BB King Blues and Jazz Club with an exclusive evening of cocktails and appetizers. What's up? I'm Sharice Marie and we are here at BB King's for the Industry Rules Magazine party for Mr. Chef Winford Simpson. Industry Rules is a magazine that focuses on a different industry every month. So one month we could be talking about cars, the next month we could be talking about energy. So how we define what, month, what particular industry to focus on, it depends on what's trending within the country. So October is usually culinary season or culinary month, so we wanted to get someone that's exceptional within their industry and Chef Simpson fits the bill. So that's how we kind of decided on Chef Simpson. Culinary industry, he's an exceptional chef. It all comes together, synergy. This, what is this, what is this? What is this? That's what I'm talking about, man. And I'll tell you this. Me standing right here just a while ago when I was sitting up the buffet, it, I'm sitting up the buffet as if I'm just setting up for a regular private event. And when I was going to the back, I kind of tear up a little bit. Because I'm like, this is for you. And you still don't get it. And right up until 4 o'clock, I was still running around and making sure everything is good and I'm staying on top. And Sterling said to me, hey, you're not going to change. This is for you. But it still didn't dawn on me until right now. Right now, it dawned on me like, wow, this is actually for me. I'm on the cover of Industry Rule magazine. It's something about my story that's so intrigued to the magazine where they say, you know what, we have to get you on the cover because I think your story is so motivational and it's so inspirational to a lot of people. A lot of people can learn something from it. They can see how being persistent and being determined and just stand firm to your, be your belief and your dream, your vision, what you want. If you stay stern to it and just keep believing in yourself and push on, this can be the result of it. Right. So me being featured on the cover of it is a big accomplishment. So what can we look forward to in the future? Oh my God, in the future, I got so much great stuff. Right now I'm in the process of opening my culinary school, which is gonna be in Ultra Rios, Jamaica. And it's my way of giving back, paying it forward, get some of the youths off the street, give them a career. You know, because now people look at cooking as it's such a craft right now, it's so well known. If you're a great chef, you're well recognized and you're well known. So, so many people want to be a part of whatever you're doing. So back in a long time ago, chef, chef wasn't recognized. But now, if you check all the well-known chefs, chefs are getting so much recognition for their wonderful work. And we, play, we deal with food. You know, food is love and food is something that you're definitely going to enjoy, especially when you're passionate about it. It's absolutely all about loving what you do and how you do it all the time, correct? M most definitely. You love what you do, you never work a day in your life.
Designer Chuck Collins released his latest collection viewing with a fundraising event to raise funds for Adopt a School initiative for children in Chuck Collins' home country, Nigeria. The Dreamfall 2017 Benefit Fashion Show and Silent Auction in collaboration with Onanda Foundation US took place at the Angel Orenzas Foundation in the Lower East Side. Chuck's Collins collection offers ready-to-wear fashion for men and women that appreciate sophisticated style and this season the ensembles range from modern elegance to casual chic in a handsome array of bold colors. So tonight is all about charity, all about giving back. So this uh, tonight is the end of the fashion week and for my fashion week collection I decided to call it the dream which is all about inspiration, empowerment of women and also donating a proceed to an organization called Oando Foundation and what they do is that they try to help little girls off of the streets, put them in schools and try to help them with a better life because this collection is all about little girl who aspires to be grown up someday and be successful in everything they are doing and also for the woman who is also mature has everything she wants but at the same time she wants to be nurtured like a good girl so it's all, it's all about the marriage of a thrill and architecture it's all about women empowerment you know making women feel beautiful in my garment men and women i just want you when you put on my garment i just want you to feel like a certain kind of when will it feel empowered empowered feel powerful you know like the clothes you put on it shows who you are like you 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 have you put on a clothes and you have like this full self-confidence about yourself like you just feel good about it. that's what i want my clothes to do Yeah, you don't know. You're watching Street Buzz New York, see? And see, this week again, we still are talking to the Caribbean people, them, see? Because originally, right now, Flatbush has been renamed to Little Caribbean. Yeah. And Flatbush is an era in New York, see? In Brooklyn. Alright? For those who don't know who or what is Flatbush, Flatbush is an area, a community that's in Brooklyn. So, they rename it and call it Little Caribbean. So, we're going to find out if the people them agree with that. Right here on Street Buzz. Yeah, straight was New York. What's your name, my brother? Tyrone. Where are you from, Tyrone? Well, originally from Jamaica, Clarendon, Jamaica, but you know, been here for 21 years, so I'm a Brooklynite myself. Yeah. All right, my brother. Mm. And you know, so recently, Flatbush was renamed Liquid Caribbean. What do you feel about that? I feel like it's full time now, we get a little place for us, you know, like all yeah. the Caribbean people. They got, like my boy was saying, they got Little Italy, they got all these little places already, but we didn't have our own little area. What's your name, brother? My name is Randy. Where you from, Randy? I'm from Grenada. Grenada, another. Oh, sin? All right, I don't know. Flatbush was renamed Little Caribbean. What do you feel about that? Well, I feel like the Caribbean culture is all over Brooklyn. You can't limit it to just Flatbush because we're in Crown Heights right now and yeah. you got Caribbean people all up and down Utica. So yeah. if you go down on Church Avenue, you're going to find most of the Trinidadians, Jamaicans, Grenadians, all of the culture down there too. So just limit it to the Flatbush or just East Flatbush or yeah. any part of Brooklyn is just, yeah. just making it seem smaller than what it really is, you know? <laughs> Yeah, you 
in America, I think that's not a bad idea, you know? Brooklyn, New York consists of a lot of Caribbean, so why not? I think that will be good for the community. Yeah. yeah. But I'm sure you know, so about Queens are only for Caribbean people, though. Or I go for Queens. Or do I just Brooklyn in my single? Well, I guess Brooklyn are the majority, and we have more everything to do with the Caribbean entertainment. Yeah, so if you want to look at Caribbean, Flatbush, best thing right now. Well, I guess time enough, because I know about what? Chinatown. Um, so time enough, we've been around for a long time and yeah. we have a lot of impact. I mean, a lot of celebrities have West Indian roots and, um, you know, we've been doing a lot for the country. So time enough, we get recognized officially. Um, I think it's calm just because Flatbush is like Little Caribbean and everyone in Flatbush or that you're known from being from Flatbush is Caribbean. So it's just like so much stuff from the Caribbean happens in Flatbush. They have the little um, section where the Haitian people are and they sell these stuff. Sure. So I just feel as if it's calm and it's, it's nothing wrong with it. Nobody should feel any type of way. I mean, me personally, I have nothing against the name, but yeah. I understand the agenda. They're trying to make it seem pleasing or more inviting. Yeah. for the gentrifiers of the gentrification that's coming through. Well, Little Caribbean, we can't even call it a Little Caribbean, okay? You don't know a Caribbean big, you know? See. You understand? Jamaica itself big, you understand? So, you know, I mean, we appreciate the fact that Caribbean is up there now, you understand? But as I say, Caribbean is big, you get me? So, you know, we appreciate Don't go away. New York's top 10 countdown is up next. Let's see which artist makes it to the number one spot. And remember, if you make it in New York City, you can make it anywhere in the world. Single or if you have a husband, Boy. if a beta or if he miss a gunman, that are your real skin tone or your sun tan, is that your natural hair or it custom? A man no front when a man a make food. Boom. Things that are road, they say man them a get rude. Boom. No shot no bus when a man a keep trade. Boom. No man no disturb the children peace. Boom. No care no broke when you hear that's a keep. Do it for the love, me not do it for the life. Do it for the love, me not for the love life. That's alright. Sit down on the post and the street all night. The moment you have all been waiting for. Come chat with me's number one video in New York City is Charlie Black's VIP Girl. I say the lady, you will sign a miss me. Come now, girl, let me turn in a VIP. Bring your back, girl, bring your money down me. Say the lady, you will sign a miss me. Come now, girl, let me turn in a VIP. Bring your back, girl, bring your money down me. The Reggae Gold compilation series from VP Records has presented the best of dancehall, roots and lovers rock reggae for over 20 years. 
The official Reggae Gold 2017 album release party was held at the Grey Dolphin Lounge in Queens. The official Reggae Gold 2017 album release party featured a live set from powerhouse reggae singer Akaya and additional performances by Vipal artists Jamaica, Dwayne Pressure, and The Professor. Gene Seekness hosted the event. Yes, Reggae Gold 2K17. Get it on your phones. Also, you can stream it. We get thing. When you walk up, come. Come. And you feel like you walk up. You walk up. And then time then. You not come. You take a stop. And we come. Why did you start singing? Um, I started singing because I always had a love for it. Especially when my mom used to put me in choir classes, dance class. Yes, yes. Oh gosh. She, my mom literally started it all. If I was to tell you just so much I need you, would you come tonight? Would you not believe me? Cause I love daddies and never turns all right. Products that I have with Shaggy, Brooke Up. Um, I'm just looking forward to touring. I'm just excited about the upcoming products that I have. And actually, being a part of VP Records, VPOP distribution it has also always been a dream of mine. Um, I've been singing from five, and living this dream is truly a blessing. And I can't wait to see what the future holds. Thanks for watching Come Chat With Me, New York's number one Caribbean lifestyle magazine. Tune in each and every Sunday at 6 p.m. right here on CIN. See you next week.